What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the Hidden Heights Farm Vlog. My name's Kevin and I haven't posted a video in a couple days so I need to get you guys updated on these new Kiko goats and how they're doing. So I'm walking out there right now. Uh, finally got a day off work. Been working a lot of overtime so I haven't had time to post a video but I'm going to try to get you guys back up to date on what's going on. Not a lot has changed. Everything's going good. So let's go see what these goats are up to. Usually when they see me, the two uh, goats that were bottle babies start crying. There they go. They hear me. Come here, goats. Come here, goats. So you can see them. Come here, goats. Yeah, they're taking their sweet time. So if you guys are new to the channel, uh, if you watched my last video, we just picked up this small herd of Kiko goats just a, oh, four days ago on Memorial Day, actually. Here they come. And we got this big buck here. He's doing great. The rest of them are doing great. We got them all worked before we let them out of the trailer. So all their hooves are trimmed, dewormed them. And that's something else I want to talk about. So I had a lot of comments on that last video about, uh, you know, I mentioned that we're putting them in this small pasture by themselves and not with our main herd of Spanish goats to kind of quarantine them and when I say that basically what I mean is we know these goats are not sick and have diseases or we wouldn't have bought them if they even looked or had any symptoms of having a disease or any kind of sickness we would not have brought them to our farm at all when I say quarantine them what I mean is we went ahead and wormed them because we don't know their history and all that exactly so they're on a separate field and the way that goats get worms is, uh, say you bring in a goat that's infested with parasites or intestinal worms, and their droppings are on the field. That's how worms hatch. They crawl up blades of grass and weeds and such, and the goats that are grazing low to the ground eat that, and it gets into their digestive tract, and the worm eggs hatch. And it's just a big cycle. So... When I say quarantine, what I mean is these goats are over here, the Spanish goats are over there. They, yeah, they can touch noses and all that through the uh, fence, but these goats do not have no diseases or any kind of sickness that's going to be trans transferred over to these goats. Um, we checked them out pretty good before we, before we even bought them. But anyways, yes, they can touch each other. And one thing that, the only thing that I have ever seen goats pass along to one another would be like pink eye and these goats show no signs of that so basically what i meant is these are quarantined over here so if they do have worms they're gonna get you taken care of with the medicine we gave them and this way the spanish goats cannot get over here to eat off the same grass where their droppings are so they don't stand any chance of getting the worms that these bring in and by the time we do mix them together the life cycle of the worms if they do have them they don't show any signs of, signs of having worms. We just treated them as a preventive. So just to clarify that, I know a lot of people were like, well, that's not quarantine. Quarantine is where they can't even pretty much see each other is what the comments and stuff were saying from some of you guys. So just to kind of clear that up. But everything is going great over here. Uh, the goats have kind of settled in. They got their first rainstorm here on our farm, and they jolted right into their little lean-to sheds over there. But let me zoom in on them a little bit and show you. So there's the big boy right there. He's he's the buck that came with this herd. And here's one of the bottle nannies. She's super friendly. That's all one sock. Come here, one sock. Yeah, you're a good girl. You like the camera, don't you? This is one of Kaya's goats, guys. This is one that she... Uh, she picked out so you can see she got one sock on there that's her name that the farm we got her from gave her and this one is a really colored up kiko goat she's very pretty and then we got some more blacks just like our spanish guys right, speaking of the spanish goats let's go do a quick check on them uh, I came out early this morning and I had no signs of any babies or birthing and they were already out foraging and grazing out in the pasture. So I don't know if we're going to be able to see them or not, but we'll try. Alright, so I told you I was going to show you the goats and of course they didn't want to come to the barn so I had to drive out and find them. And so far I see about half of them coming.
the rest of you guys at? Like I said, I just checked on them oh, a little over an hour ago this morning and they were in the barn and there was no signs of birth or anything, so I'm not too worried about them. But we got a few that's getting really close, so it should be any day we should have some baby black goats on the ground. And there's a tiny. Come here, tiny. Come here, girl. These girls are getting so fat, they can't hardly uh, stand up on two legs and uh, eat the leaves off the trees. Daisy with, must be with the rest of the herd. Alright, so while I'm out here, I'm going to give you guys a little garden update. Man, I don't know if you guys can see behind me, these cucumbers are just going wild. The green beans aren't doing so great. Uh, they're growing, but their leaves look kind of funny. I'm not sure. Let me show you guys. So it almost looks like they might be getting too hot, like as uh, fertilizer-wise, and I really haven't fertilized them, so I'm not sure what they're not liking in the soil. But the cucumbers are pretty much thriving. Uh, I've noticed started to get several blooms on these cucumbers, so it won't be long. We'll be picking cucumbers, the tomatoes. We've already been picking tomatoes. I've uh, been picking some of the little sun sugar yellow uh like cherry tomatoes man them things are really flavorful they're really good got lots of blooms got a lot of tomatoes on the bigger variety of tomatoes as well and then the squash is just going crazy and there's one of my bees doing its pollination thing so i'm not going to bother it you can see this squash bed and zucchini bed is just going nuts Peppers are still doing good. The strawberries are really doing good. It's almost time to start putting the straw down on the bed. And then, of course, our salad and onion bed. Carrots. Radishes are going crazy. I need to pick some more of those. Swiss chards. Been picking it. Been picking everything. So, just a little update on all the uh, raised bed gardens. Everything's doing wonderful. Uh, haven't had to hardly water anything because of all the rain we've been getting. And now it's sunny and the plants are just all right so one new thing that i do have here on the farm is got a friend at work that had an elderly neighbor that had some uh, thornless blackberry plants and he didn't want them any longer so michael a uh, guy at work told him he would dig them up for him and he asked me if i wanted them and i said sure these were all mature thornless blackberry plants they're not looking so great right now because he did dig them up root and all and i immediately brought them over here and transplanted them after i got them from uh, work but i think they'll be doing great i probably won't get any berries off of them this year which i'm not worried about but hopefully next year the roots and all that will put some more shoots up and we'll get some berries but take a look at these if you guys followed the channel you know we got a lot of wild blackberries around but we don't have any of these thornless domestic berries so I got them planted and it's got a few good rains since then. So hopefully these things will take off. And then there's our corn patch coming up pretty well. Don't, don't mind the weeds and the grass growing in between it all. But you can see how, how well the corn's growing. It's almost time to hit it with some fertilizer again. Alright, so I got this cage behind me. The time has come to move the little turkeys and the four americanas that we got into the turkey pen we're going to go ahead and put them in there for now let them grow a little more they're getting way too big for that pen and every time any of us me or rachel go try to open the door to feed them they just try to barge out of there and they're getting too big now so i'm going to try to attempt to get them in this little cage and transport them over to the turkey pen and keep feeding them in there for a while until they are a little bigger to turn out in the big field <laughs> All right guys, so here's one of the turkeys that we, me and Dutch are gonna try to meet up this weekend and this is his turkey right here that he is going to try to uh, raise up and butcher by Thanksgiving.
biggest uh, black Spanish turkey that we hatched here on the farm from our own turkeys. We put the turkey eggs in the incubator and hatched these guys out. He's the biggest one we got so far. Well, I say he, I don't know yet. All right guys, so we got the baby chicks, turkeys and chicks over here in the turkey pen. And the goats have been taking up residence in this pen since they've been leaving the door open. And the adult turkeys have not even been coming in here. They've been just roosting on the top at night and just on the ground. So we're going to let them loose and uh, try to raise them up in here until they're big enough to turn out on the main field with the rest of them. Alright guys. You're not locked up in the rabbit hutch no more. Come enjoy some freedom. Go. Go, 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 go. Come on, guys. Come on, little turkeys. There you go. There you go. Now they're spreading their wings. They haven't been able to do that yet. Look. That'll give them some good exercise in here for sure. These little white turkeys are growing pretty quick. And that's one of the Americana chicks. And that is as well. They lay the green and blue tinted color eggs. Yeah, Mr. Tom Turkey's over here checking everything out. I've been leaving the door open, buddy, and you ain't even been coming in here. Don't act like you want in now. Alright guys, I wanted to uh, give you guys a little short update on these Kiko goats we got now on the farm. Show you guys how much bigger the uh, turkey poults and the chicks have got. And now they're in the turkey pen so they can run around a little better and kind of get their muscles stretched out with their wings and such. Hopefully Dutch can get this turkey this weekend and get him raised up before Thanksgiving time to have him butchered. I'd like to see the video on Dutch butchering this turkey. But anyways guys, uh, the weather's been calm for the last couple days. It's been clear and sunny, think, thankfully. And uh, no severe storms been coming around lately, so it's, it's nice for a change, I guess you could say. And uh, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. We're going to have some baby black Spanish goats hitting the ground any day. Be looking out for the video from that. And as always, guys, leave a comment below. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day. And we'll see you on the next video.